Hello everyone, uh, I hope you're doing well, and thank you for joining me to read our story of the day. Now, um, we have a different type of story today than our main story. Our main story was, what can you do with a paleta? And if you remember, that was a realistic fiction story. But when you look at this story here, you should see and notice the photographs which should be telling you that this is going to be a nonfiction story. It's about real things that happen in real life with real people and real places. And this is a good one. This story is called Cultural Festivals. So what we're going to be doing is exploring different places around the world and learning about the different types of celebrations and festivals that they have. And these uh, celebrations might be much different than the ones we are used to celebrating where we live. It's always cool to learn about uh, different people who live in different places of the world. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into the first part of this story. Cultural festivals, celebrating the season, giving thanks, being with friends and family. People do all of these things during cultural festivals. Festivals are times to celebrate events or holidays that are important to different cultures around the world. People come together at a festival to enjoy delicious food, beautiful decorations, music, and dancing. Some festivals last for one day, while others last for more than a week. In some places, stores close and people stay home from school or from work to celebrate with friends and family. People also celebrate festivals to honor important events in their culture's history. Giving gifts or eating certain foods is part of every festival around the world. People from many different cultures celebrate festivals in the United States every year. So we can see uh, some photographs of people. Some of these people might be in the United States or in different parts of the world, and they are celebrating um, different special days or occasions based on the culture that they are from. Let's move into part two. Cinco de Mayo is a holiday that is celebrated in Mexico. The name of this holiday means the 5th of May in Spanish. It celebrates the date that the Mexican army won an important battle many years ago. In the United States, people who celebrate Cinco de Mayo often march in parades and gather together to listen to mariachi music or mariachi music. A mariachi band has violins, trumpets, and a guitar. During Cinco de Mayo, people dance in the streets to this lively music. People often visit street fairs during Cinco de Mayo. There, they can buy traditional Mexican food such as tacos, spicy tortilla soup, and guacamole. There are also vegetables and plenty of fresh salsa. People make special foods at home, too. Celebrating Cinco de Mayo festivals is one way that people show that they are proud of their culture. People often display the Mexican flag outside their homes on this day. So this holiday, or this special day, Cinco de Mayo, comes to us from the country of Mexico. It's a very special day from them, for them, and you might have heard of this holiday before. Mr. Mac might have even talked about it in Spanish class. Let's find out what's next. Ooh, I love this photograph. In India, people celebrate a festival, festival called Diwali, or the Festival of Lights. People celebrate this festival for many different reasons. Some people celebrate an important event in India's history. Others celebrate good luck for the new year. Diwali celebrations take place in many countries throughout the world. People celebrate Diwali for five days. On the first day, people clean their homes. 
On the second day, they decorate their homes with lamps. Then, on the third day, they light the lamps and candles. At night, they watch colorful fireworks light up the sky. During the last two days of Diwali, people visit their friends and family. Together, they share a feast of traditional Indian food. Another important tradition during Diwali is giving gifts to friends and family. Often these gifts are sweets or flowers made from gold and silver. People also exchange candles and clay lamps. People also celebrate Diwali by playing games with their friends or family. The winners feel very lucky. If you lose, you can look forward to winning a game at next year's Diwali festival. I like this part of the story a lot because this might remind you of some of the celebrations that we have each year. Okay, we talked about visiting friends and family, sharing a special meal together, exchanging gifts with one another. That sounds like a lot of things that we do too. So sometimes cultures throughout the world might share some of the same ideas or traditions that are just um, kind of more unique to their culture in certain ways. Let's take a look at the last part of the story. Tet is a celebration in Vietnam to welcome the new year. It is a joyful time when people appreciate everything that is new in their lives and in the world. To get ready for Tet, people clean and decorate their homes. They might even paint the outside so it looks fresh and clean. People also will buy new clothes. On Tet, people prefer to decorate the doors of their homes with a red ribbon. They believe that the color red can keep them safe. For this reason, parents often give their children money in red envelopes. Parades and traditional dances take place on the first day of Tet. These special celebrations can, can continue for one week. During one Tet parade, people wear masks while they dance in the street. You can see that right here. After the parade, families gather together to eat traditional foods from Vietnam. These foods include fruit and sticky rice cakes. Tet is special in another way, too. Each New Year is named after a different animal. Children from Vietnam do not always say the year they were born. Instead, they might say they were born in the year of the goat. So, this story took us to some different cultures. We talked about... Cinco de Mayo, which is celebrated in Mexico. We talked about Diwali, which is celebrated in India. And we talked about Tet, which is celebrated in Vietnam. Some of these celebrations are very similar to the celebrations that we might share with our friends and our families throughout the year. I want you to think of some of those celebrations that are really special to you and your family. And um, what I would like you to do is share some of your favorite parts about those celebrations. I can't wait to hear what you have to share. And thank you for joining me for this story.